Hello guys, welcome back to the Spicy Sweet Design channel. And uh, yeah, I'm actually trying to reuse some of my leftover parts from that Super 7 Conan figure. Um, I ended up parting the one that I opened up and then I got another one and I sent it to uh, that guy overseas uh, who's always been, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> annoying me, trying to get me to get him uh, rare and exclusive items here from the US. Apparently, this stuff, some of this stuff, they, they still, is still kind of hard to get uh, if you're living in like Malaysia or Indonesia for some reason. Uh, from what I understand, a lot of people in the Philippines can get stuff easily from China directly uh, through like uh, one of the distributors, but uh, I, I honestly don't know what's going on. So anyway, uh, so uh, I used uh, some of the level of parts I was selling on Macari to uh, uh, make this custom here. I'm going to call this guy the uh, Gladiator Predator because uh, this guy actually don't have a lot of tech on him. So I'm using the leftover gauntlets from that Super 7 uh, Conan, uh, the Barbarian figure. Uh, it's called a Pit Fighter. Yeah, so we got his gauntlet on here. These are the pegs that were glued in into the, uh, the gauntlet for the Conan figure. And uh, they just pop right off. Uh, I, j I didn't even have to do anything. I just I just pulled on it and then it came off. So, yeah, I still have Arnold's head. I don't think I want to make this a trophy, you know, because it's kind of disrespectful to, uh, you know, the big man. <laughs> Probably uh, reuse his head as another custom later down the line. Probably hold on to this. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we, we get like, you know, people return like stuff. Uh, all the time and uh, now we are getting a little a lot better at uh, disputing those uh, you know fraudulent returns so we end up with free figures from assholes who uh, just purposely trying to abuse the system so anyway uh, yeah probably leave this for another thing uh, okay so anyway uh, yeah, so basically uh, the Stalker Predator, you can remove his armor. So this thing is super plasticized, it's super gummy, whatever. You know, I think you guys heard enough about plasticizer migration and plasticizers on my channel. So yeah, that thing comes off so you can see his whole entire torso. Now the interesting thing about this NECA uh, mold is that the, the way, uh, you know, the body is sculpted is actually very asymmetrical. You know, like other companies, they like to make the figures more symmetrical. Uh, mm -hmm. NECA's, NECA products is really, like, you know, you can even tell from the hips and the body. This thing is not symmetrical right down the middle. Uh, I think it has to do with the original mold. Basically, they just retooled the original mold and added a point of articulation, which honestly, I feel like that's kind of lazy. You know, I honestly hope that they come up with new molds. You know, like that new Predator body, you know, the 3.0, like the Alpha Predator, the uh, Fugitive Predator, all of that has a new body with like symmetrical, symmetry, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, the older modes, like the 2.0 mode, is just like they take the existing mode and then they added articulation points to it. Uh, a lot of people still like this body, but uh, yeah, honestly, it's overused. I think we need a new one. Uh, they just reuse this body like four more times for that uh, Guardian Predator, the Scout Predator, and the Berserker Predator. Is that the Berserker? No, uh, the Warrior Predator. They're, those are all coming out. I just checked the uh, order uh, thing at Rob's uh, system. It looks like uh, those figures are ready for uh, retail distribution. So, yeah, oh, uh, one thing I forgot, I also put on a uh, you know, leftover mask from the Jason figure onto his shoulder. So, yeah, this guy, uh, this guy uh, took down Jason Voorhees. So, there you go. That's the uh, Jason's mask become his shoulder <laughs> armor. Uh, I think that's a very interesting touch. And here is the mask. This is actually the City Hunters, City Hunter Predator's mask. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so I, I painted that by hand, of course, and I added some details to it. So, yep, there we go. So this is a, this is a concept. This is a work in progress. Uh, I was going to paint the gauntlet to match the armor, but then I realized uh, his leg armor is already gold. 
and the goals are very similar so I probably don't need to do this maybe yeah I mean this thing already have a wash on it so I'll probably just leave it as is yeah and if it's on there fine it's not coming off very easily so that's perfectly fine and yeah that's uh someone told me I should reuse that katana that I have uh, I might actually put that katana on here just make this guy like a weird uh, <laughs> mismatch of uh, parts and stuff like that. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about this custom. Thanks for watching.